Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and we are back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. It's been a while. We're gonna kick things off with Revenge of the Sphinx, created by Tommy T. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, before we kick things off, guys, I just want to give a big thank you to all the people on YouTube and Discord who have been sending me really nice messages telling me to get well soon, and they hope to see me back. Um, I'm still a little bit under the weather. It's It was a long, long sickness, and, uh, it, and I'm just glad to be back riding some coasters, making some videos. And having some fun i also want to give a big thank you to all the patrons as some of you may or may not know uh january is a pretty notoriously bad month for youtubers and with being sick um things haven't been that great but thank you to all the patrons because if it weren't for you guys i wouldn't be in a very good position right now so you guys are helping to keep the show go on and that is certainly true here so for the next week or so for the rest of the month i have some patrons picked out some really good ones some priority passes and i just want to feature patrons as a as a sign of gratitude for all you guys still continuing to show your support even though the show has been down for a couple of weeks so because it's been a while since I made any videos and I got to get that ball rolling again, and I still got to get over the sickness a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be easing out the videos. I don't know if I'm going to go full bore to a day. We'll see. Maybe, maybe a little bit uh, here and there. But for the rest of the month here, I'm thinking we're just going to ramp up and do a video a day here. Uh, try to get some patrons fe featured and uh, also pick out some top creations from the new adventure pack. Come February, guys, we're going to try to get back onto a regular schedule, do the variety weeks which is uh mondays being the new builders and scaling all the way up to legends by the end of the week with a mix of patrons and non-patrons and even throw in some non-discord members in the mix uh, we also have lauren and wix who have created a couple example scenarios for the scenario contest that i'm hoping to show off to you guys in the next week or two so lots of fun stuff guys uh since i've been away my inbox blew up with over 150 submissions Submissions, maybe even 200 submissions I still have to sort them all out and it's gonna be a lot of fun looking through what you guys have created in the past couple weeks here especially with the adventure pack and then once I've sorted it all out going into February we should have a pretty cool lineup I think and we also have a really good lineup for the rest of this month so again everybody thank you for your kind messages and thank you the patrons for your support and that's enough rambling from me let's dive into Tommy's creation here so this was sent in by one of our Discord legend builders and silver patrons, Tommy T. Thank you so much for your support. And he says, hey, Johnny, here's my newest ride submission, Revenge of the Sphinx. My newest Egyptian coaster themed ride made with loads of items from the new adventure pack. From the best ride effects, please ride at 6.30 a.m. or any time at night. And please select the soundtrack category, the song track, the dragon dungeon to play during the ride. As always, a huge thank you to Fly for making the Sphinx sign that's in front of the ride entrance. Thanks, Johnny, and have a fun ride, Tommy. I have to apologize to Tommy as he did have this out the day of the adventure pack. Um, I believe he did some prepping on the ride or as I believe he did some of the, the core elements of the ride. And then when the adventure pack came out, he just filled it up with goodies and worked really hard that day to have one of the first most impressive adventure pack coaster creations out the day of the release. We're featuring it, you know, several weeks later. So my apologies for getting sick, Tommy, life happens, and uh, we're going to be featuring you up first as the first coaster of my return, and, and I'm looking forward to it because Tommy never disappoints. So you guys have been seeing the shots in the background. Looks pretty darn cool. Let's dive right on into it. We have a torque to launch coaster, and uh, let's take a look at some of these stats. So we got 6.17 excitement, 4.5 fear, and a 0.88 nausea. Now look at these results. 6,000 meters of track length. Holy moly. 270 seconds in duration. Max speed 100 miles per hour. Average speed 51 miles per hour. That is quite crazy. So I didn't look too much. I peeked around for a few shots, as you guys saw in the presentation. But that's about it. What you guys saw, I saw. Not too many spoilers there. So I believe this is the entrance to the boarding station. Revenge of the Sphinx. 
Very cool. All right, we're going to board the next one that arrives. And we're going to turn it to what? 6.30 p.m., you said? And just my luck, the ride breaks down. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys, so riding it solo. Been a long time since I've ridden a coaster. Uh, we won't have any flailing arms, at least. But here we go. Wow. You had the beetles, now you got the scorpions. This is incredible. Ah. See a snake head. The notorious treasure room by Tommy T and Floss. <laughs> notice that the gems still light up at night? 
That was interesting. Holy moly. As I said, Tommy T, you never fail to disappoint. Now we have some guests. That was amazing. I love the line art on this one and the sculptures. Holy moly, these statues and stuff. Really well done. Wondering if we should do a chase view and check that out one more time. Let's try that. Now we got some guests. Without me screaming the whole time. <laughs> Here we go. I'll mute the mic, guys.
boom, and it broke down again. <laughs> oh, there it is, everybody. Absolutely amazing work. Uh, shout out to Floss for creating this sign. As he said, that is absolutely stunning. Um, some of the line art in there are some of the best that I've ever seen. Uh, Tommy, you're always pushing your skills to the next level, and it is so impressive. Now, I can see a lot of this stuff he prepped early using the um, icing, basic shapes. So I can see a lot of this was used from the base game. The pyramids are actually made out of house shingling, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that you got this all prepped in time for the adventure pack and then you threw in lots of nuggets and cool things like the mummies and the lava. We saw lots of really cool effects. I'm wondering, the water splashes were really impressive and very large and noisy. I, I, some of the best water effects that I've seen yet. So really good job on that. I remember um, one of his first creations that he did, he tried doing the water splash and one of my feedbacks was to do it a little bit earlier and bigger. <laughs> and you can certainly see it here that he's learned and grown from that. Uh, those those water effects were absolutely incredible as as was the whole experience front to back Entertaining the whole way through So really good job there yet again Tommy always delivering on these fantastic creations Absolutely amazing All right, there you go everybody that's gonna do it for this episode of coaster spotlight If you guys enjoy Please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos And if you guys would like to support the show to keep it going you could do so by becoming a patron All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now <laughs>